like that? Yeah. Huh? All right. Big salute to all of my veterans out here. Big shout out to all of my subscribers. Man, like I tell you guys, I can't go one video without showing my appreciation. So real quick, man, this is for my trucking company owners out here, man. Let me tell you guys, one thing about this trucking business is that you just can't operate a trucking company. You have to do other things in this industry too because I'm telling you guys, man, operating a trucking company can get very expensive. There's a lot of overhead involved in this business, especially running a trucking company truck no trailer no unexpected maintenance commercial insurance diesel i mean and the list goes on too right there's good money to be made running trucks but that's if you guys really know how to run those trucks too right so one thing that kind of um amuses me in life is that when I've talked to people and they ride by these terminals, especially like with these mega carriers and these big trucking companies, they'll ride by their terminals. And they'll say, man, you see those, all those nice new trucks in their yard? Do you see all of those nice trailers in their yard? And people see that and they think that that trucking company is making a lot of money. But in reality, that trucking company is not making a whole bunch of money because they have a bunch of equipment just sitting in their yard. Those trucks have to get paid one way or the other, right? You know, by that trucking company. And like they say in trucking, if those wheels are not turning, you're not earning. Whatever equipment you ever purchase in your trucking company it needs to be on the road too. It's okay to maybe have you a few trucks hanging out if you have a whole bunch of trucks or let's just say if you got five trucks, it's okay to just let one hang out because maybe one of the other four might go down and you could have another truck. And that's cool to operate that way, but you just don't want your equipment sitting around See, a lot of people are having problems these days finding good quality drivers to drive their trucks for them, too. A lot of people are starting these trucking companies and they don't even have a Class A CDL. So that's why I tell you guys, man, go get your Class A CDL. Go become an owner operator. I'm telling y'all, man, it's levels to everything that you do in life. I got my CDL back in 2013. I drove for Warner Enterprises. I started my trucking company in 2017. I was still in the military. When I got out the military in 2018, I became an owner operator. I drove one of my trucks, one of my dually trucks, hot shots, and then I still had three or four other trucks at that time running, two. But at least I, had the opportunity and the chance to get out there and experience. So for you guys out here that just have a trucking company only, I'm telling you, you need to also look into freight dispatching and starting a dispatching company, hire and train some people, whether it's family, friends, it don't matter, train somebody to start running your dispatching company. Go get your freight brokerage. I stress this in majority all of my videos, especially when I'm talking about running a trucking company. It don't cost a lot of money to go start up a freight brokerage. Every trucking company should have a freight brokerage too. And there's many of other things that you guys could be doing in this industry. But if you guys just do those two things for starters, and also do this one, do three things. Since you do have an authority, go ahead and find somebody that's highly qualified, lease them onto your trucking company. Charge them anywhere from about 15 to 20, 25%, 15 on the low, 
25 on the high, like I tell you guys, some of these big trucking companies out here, they're charging 35% to lease on trucks to their company. So that's three ways right there, man. You guys need to start figuring out how can you start expanding your business too. So I just want to put this out there to you guys, man. Anybody out here that's operating a trucking company right now, think about other ways that you guys could be making money outside of that truck too. Because we all know it's inevitable. That truck will go down. You will have a very, very expensive bill. Anytime semi trucks, dually trucks, even box trucks, they go in the shop, it's gonna be some money. It's gonna be some thousands of dollars, more than likely, to get it fixed too. So make sure you have money put back in the maintenance account or however you could save money for your maintenance bill because it's gonna happen. You're gonna need those tires, you're gonna need that oil change too. So like I'm telling you guys, a bunch of overhead that's going to go off into the trucking side. It's going to be hard to find good quality drivers to keep those wheels turning so you guys could keep earning out there. So you want to start figuring out other ways that you can make money too. Because I've seen it too many times that most people are just relying on their trucking company and then right when their trucking company stopped making money, they stopped making money because they still have overhead that they still need to pay every month to keep that trucking company going. You still need to pay that commercial insurance every month to keep that authority active. Most people will have a truck and a trailer note that they still have to pay. It don't matter if that truck is not running or not. Let's just say your commercial insurance is 1500 your truck note is a thousand your trailer is 500 you know shoot you at three thousand plus dollars that you know you just have to pay either that that or they gonna come and take your truck they gonna come and take your trailer or the commercial insurance is gonna cancel your policy and then you no longer have a trucking company anymore too so like I tell you guys, I started with a trucking company. I have no regrets. If I could go back, uh, I would definitely learn freight brokering, freight dispatching. But like I say, I have no regrets. I go back and I just do it all the same way. That's why I'm able to talk to you guys right now via YouTube. So man, real quick video, man. If you guys have any questions, hit me on my text message 317. 953-8943. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get your 30-day free trial with DAT Logo Board. Go sign up with TABS, Trans and Financial Services, if you guys are looking for a factor in service. Everything in the description link below. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.